It's time to ring the register on this year's top performing sector, energy stocks. That's the call from our next guest, Jonathan Krinsky. He's the chief market technician at Baycrest Partners, and he joins us now on the phone. Welcome back. This is a big call. It's good to have you on today. Yeah, thank you, Scott. Um, yeah, I think now, it's... Uh, go ahead. Go ahead. Finish your thought. No, nope, finish your thought. My, my apologies. No, so I was, I was just going to get right into it. Um, so there's really, you know, two, two aspects here, first being the commodity crude oil. Um, we've actually seen a record 14 consecutive days with higher intraday highs. Um, prior to this move, the, the longest we've seen uh, of that stretch was 12 consecutive days. Uh, and this goes back to 1990. Um, we saw that in 2003. Now, of course, that was during the Iraqi war. So, um, you know, maybe not a great comparison. And then you saw uh, more recently in 2011. Uh, and both of those did see some pretty meaningful downside in the weeks ahead. Um, and that's just to say that, you know, 14 consecutive higher highs, while that's very strong and bullish, it doesn't um, it doesn't mean that you can't see some weakness uh, pretty soon thereafter. Um, and then, you know, we yeah, I just don't, let me stop, stop you real quick. Let, let me let me yeah, stop you real yeah. quick, because, you know, look, we're, we're oils at a two and a half year high. OK, judging by your Twitter handle, Krinsky PGA, I'm guessing your golf game's better than David Tepper's. But this guy's a grand poobah. OK, <laughs> he's out today saying that he is long energy stocks. He mentions Occidental as one of the names, and that's up. And isn't he right? I mean, what what evidence is there to suggest, given the economic boom we're having, given the fact that we know inflation is ticking up, that oil is just not going to keep on going, and then those stocks are just going to keep going right with it? Well, yeah, you know, we'd be the first to say we, we don't necessarily like being on the uh, the opposite side of Tepper. But I think, you know, one thing, if, if you were to ask him, I'm sure he would, he's probably been in this trade before today, I'm guessing. I'm not I'm guessing he's not initiating new new position here today. A um, couple of things I'll mention, though. Uh, so if we look, if we talk about the broad based energy sector, it's up 90 percent over the last eight months prior to this move. The biggest eight-month gain for the energy stock since 1990 was 55%. So we've already almost doubled the best prior eight-month period. Um, the second, and this is, I think is the biggest, the biggest issue that we see, um, if, you, if you look at a long-term chart of the energy sector, we're now coming up to some massive, massive overhead supply. Um, if you think about 2011, 2016, and 2018, those three periods all saw pretty meaningful bottoms for energy. And that price level is exactly where we're at now. So we, we had, you know, a decade of support that was broken in the 2018 bear market. We're now retracing and back up to those, um, those prior lows, which we think it will now act as pretty meaningful resistance.